fallout from all of that in just a moment. By the way, we are moments away from one of the biggest, most anticipated rematches for LSU. The thing that people really want to talk about. More than 9 million people watched LSU take down Iowa last year in the national championship. Now fast forward almost a year later, and it is a spot in the Final Four that is on the line tonight. Our Miranda Thomas is catching up with fans in Baton Rouge. In a moment, we'll get to her. But first, our team coverage starts with our sports director, Jacques Doucet, who is in New York just ahead of the tip-off and right ahead of all the craziness. Jacques. Thanks a lot, Greg. Yes, there are a lot of people who feel like it's unfortunate that LSU and Iowa aren't meeting in the Final Four again, but instead here in the Elite Eight. But that won't stop people from watching tonight, as, of course, this is a rematch of that national championship contest from a year ago in which LSU won in Dallas 102-85. to The two most familiar faces from that matchup as we take a look at some pregame warm-ups not long ago are obviously LSU's Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Of course, last year there was a ton of discussion about sportsmanship as uh, Angel Reese did the John Cena, you can't see me. Caitlin Clark had done it before. And this year, the cameras have caught Caitlin Clark mouthing some language that uh, perhaps some people would find to be inappropriate. But these ladies say, hey, look, this is basketball. This is high stakes. We don't mind being salty. We're not interested in being some milk and cookies. I'll take the villain role. I'll take the, the hit for it. But I know we're going women's basketball. And if this is the way we're going to do it, then this is the way we're going to do it. You like it or you don't. There's definitely that competitive fire. You know, both of us want to win more than anything. And that's how it should be when you're a competitor and you get into a situation like this. You know, whether it was the national championship, whether it's Elite Eight, that goes for LSU's entire roster, that goes for Iowa's entire roster. Every single one of us want this so bad. Um, we want to advance to the Final Four so bad, so I think that's the main similarity is how bad and how competitive we are. And, you know, we both grew up loving this game, and we're going to do anything we can to help our teams win. One of the greatest memories I ever have as a former player, won't ever forget it, 1984 Olympics with the RCA Dome, the men's team and the women's team coached by Bob Knight and Pat Summit, we're going to get to play against pros. I had front row seats watching Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Bill Walton, the list goes on. Play against our 84 Olympic team, which was Michael Jordan, Patrick Ewing, you can go get the list. I was in heaven. The crap that came out of those guys' mouths, I couldn't quit watching. It's sports. What an interesting season for LSU. Never boring down the street, right, guys? So LSU, the teams they played on the court, the next chapter here tonight, Kim Mulkey battling the Washington Post and the Los Angeles Times. Uh, interest at, at an all-time high for LSU women's basketball. And if they win tonight, they won't come home. They will go straight to Cleveland, Ohio, and the Final Four, which is less than 500 miles from here. O only 500 miles. We're, we're 1,500 miles away from Baton Rouge, but hopefully delivering a victory for you guys tonight back to you all right Google Maps he's not but he will be on top <laughs> of our team tonight hey if you couldn't make it to Albany especially with those directions plenty of our folks are getting ready tonight that includes right here at home Miranda Thomas is with some LSU fans in Baton Rouge ahead of the tip-off Miranda what is the scene like 